In this tutorial, we will learn to use GPIO interrupts of TM4C123 microcontroller. GPIO interrupts are also known as external interrupts. For demonstration purpose, we will use the Tiva C launchpad. GPIO interrupts of TM4C123 microcontroller can be configured in edge triggered or level triggered mode. In the last tutorial, we have seen an example to control an onboard LED of Tiva launchpad using onboard switches. The link of tutorial is given in the description of this video. In that tutorial, the TM4C123 microcontroller keeps checking the status of the push button, by polling PF0 and PF4 bits of port F of TM4C123G microcontroller. This method is known as polling method. But one of the main drawbacks of the polling method is that, microcontroller will have to check the status of input switches, on every sequential execution of the code. Hence, instead of checking the status of input switches continuously, a GPIO pin which is configured as digital input, can be initialized to produce an interrupt whenever the state of the switch changes. A source of interrupt trigger can be on falling edges, rising edges or both falling and rising edges, level triggered also. Now let's see the demo code. This example code controls the green LED of the TM4C123 Tiva launchpad, based on switch 1 and switch 2 states. TM4C123 Tiva C launchpad has two onboard switches, named as SW1 and SW2. These switched are connected with PF0 and PF4 pins of Tiva launchpad. In this example code, these input switches will be used to demonstrate GPIO interrupt programming example. Both switches are used to generate external interrupt signals on negative edges or falling edge. If the interrupt is caused by switch 1, green LED will turn on. And if the interrupt is caused by switch 2, LED will turn off. Now let's see how to implement interrupt function in Kyle. In the startup file of TM4C123 microcontroller, there is a vectored map table. This table contains the starting addresses of all interrupt service routines. And so is for port F interrupt service routine. This file also contains the dummy implementations of interrupt service routines. These dummy implementations do nothing except executing an infinite loop. We can modify these dummy interrupt handlers inside our main code. So in order to implement specific functionality inside the interrupt handler function of port f, we should find the name of port f interrupt service routine in the startup file. For example, if you open the startup file of tm4c123 and explore it, you will find that the name of port f interrupt handler is gpiof underscore handler. Inside our main code, we will use gpiof underscore handler as a function name for gpiof interrupt service routine, and implement our required functionality. In this example, we are controlling green LED using interrupts of PF0 and PF4 pins inside the ISR routine of PORTF. Now let's see the demo of this code. Upload this code to Tiva Launchpad. After that click on the reset button. Finally, check the working of code, by pressing switch 1 and switch 2. As you can see, LED turns on and turns off, based on switch 1 and switch 2 states. For all resources of this project, check the link given in the description of this video. Thanks for watching this video.